DC Comics had more announcements than just the big dot of DCU initiative that's going to include all the events and stuff. They actually had their comic book solicitations come out within the last few days, and I'm not going to be able to cover in full the comic book solicitations. I'm going on vacation starting tomorrow, but there was something in there that I had to cover because the Justice League aren't coming back. I guess Joshua Williamson was telling the truth. He said, when they go away, they're not going to be coming back for some time. They're actually replacing them with a new team made up of some characters that we certainly know and love, and they have a name that we all recognize, but I do think there's going to be some additions to this team, and we're finally going to get the JLQ that DC Comics had kind of teased not too long ago, and it always felt like this was going to be the end game. But if you were waiting for the Justice League to return to the big announcement in Dawn of DCU for the return of the Justice League title, we're not going to get it, at least for some time. This is what we have. DC is officially passing the torch from the Justice League to the Titans as the premier superhero team in the DC Universe in the pages of February 21st, Nightwing number 101, from writer Tom Taylor and artist Travis Moore in DC's just-released February 2023 solicitations. DC readers already know Dick Grayson will play a prominent role in the finale of Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, and it appears his elevated role will carry over to the post-Dark Crisis DCU. And that's all fine and good, and I happen to love Nightwing. He's one of my favorite heroes in the DC Universe. It's him or Hal Jordan or maybe Hawkman. It's one of those three. I love all those characters, and I certainly think that Dick Grayson Nightwing deserves to be elevated, and I think the Titans deserve to be treated with respect. But the problem with this that I just see, it's like the writing is on the wall, that the writer for this new Justice League title is going to be Tom Taylor. He is writing the Nightwing series starring Dick Grayson. He's also writing the failed Superman Son of Kal-El series starring John Kent. And it appears when he's done with John Kent, or maybe even before the end of that miniseries, he will be announced and start writing the new Titans comic book that is going to elevate them from the second team in DC Comics into the number one team in DC Comics. If you've ever read a Tom Taylor in continuity, that's something that we definitely have to stress here. An in continuity Tom Taylor team book, it's absolutely atrocious. He never pulls it off. He's so busy ham-fisting his own politics and agenda into the Kabul book that there's no fun to be had. The characters never make sense. They never speak like themselves, and they never do adventures. They just do stuff that Tom Taylor really thinks is important. Unfortunately, well, for Tom Taylor and DC Comics, and really for Marvel Comics, if you saw what he did with X-Men when he was in charge of their premier comic book team, it's not going to work, and Tom Taylor pretty much sucks on this stuff. He's amazing in out of continuity stories. I think he does a great job in Deceased. A lot of people like Injustice and stuff like that. His Nightwing series is not terrible, although it's been telling you the same exact thing for about two years now. The other big problem really with this is we know that the Justice League aren't going to stand by for very long. Eventually there will be a threat big enough where Superman can't just sit back and go, well, I got to let John take a crack at this one. Or Batman goes, I trust Dick Grayson so much that the probability that the entire universe is about to be destroyed is not going to call me into action. And Wonder Woman is just going to have to sit idly by and go, well, Yara's got this one. There's no way that DC Comics' most powerful heroes are just going to sit on the sideline. It would never make sense within the DC Comics universe. You would literally have to kill them all or retire them and make them old and stuff like that. They tried to do that, obviously, with 5G. That didn't take. They twisted it into future state, and now we're in the shithole that we're in right now within DC Comics, so it's going to fail. It's just destined to fail at this time, and I like the Titans, and I like Dick Grayson, and I like all those ideas, but as long as you have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, the real heroes in the DC Comics universe that are established, that people associate with the Justice League and Justice League threats, the Titans are never really going to be taken as seriously as that team, and people are just going to be pining for the Justice League title to return under a writer other than Tom Taylor. According to DC's description of Nightwing 101, after the events of Dark Crisis, Superman has a talk with Nightwing, letting him know that now is Dick's time to lead. So Nightwing gathers a group of friends to be the premier league in the DC universe and moves their base of operations to Bloodhaven. Meet the new Titans. Then, following the events of Nightwing 2022 annual, in the Superman and Nightwing crossover, Nightwing continues to mentor John Kent in ways that Dick learned from being trained by Batman, but in his own more encouraging way. Wow, Superman is going to tell the readers that it's time for the Titans to be in charge. The Justice League's time is no more, so the readers are just supposed to accept it. Anytime the publisher tries to push something that doesn't happen organically within their comic book universe, 
They try to tell the readers, this is how it is, and that's just how it's going to be. Almost every single time, it is rejected by the readers. They're just going to be like, man, nah, I think I'll wait for the Justice League. No one likes it when DC or Marvel Comics decides to tell the readers exactly what's important that actually matter within the universe themselves. They don't like to listen to the readers anymore. That's why a lot of stuff at DC Comics isn't working these days. The readers tell them what is working and what is not working. What do they do? Ignore them. Push forward with Superman, Son of Kal-El, even though the sales were declining until they have to end it after 18 issues. Very unceremoniously, I might add. The Tim Drake Robin stuff, no one liked it when they introduced it. What are they doing? Wow, now we're going to get an ongoing series with something everybody hates. Because DC Comics think they get to dictate to us what is actually working in their universe. That is not how it works. It's actually the customers, the people paying for this stuff, the ones paying for your salaries are the ones ultimately that end up deciding what works and what doesn't work in the direction that you should end up going on in the end. They will learn it one way or the other. It does appear we're getting an okie doke as well. Somewhat contrary to the new Titans designation, along with Nightwing, a variant cover for Nightwing 101 from more would seem to indicate that the team's lineup will be comprised of many of the characters who have traditionally made up the Titans, who in turn graduated from the original Teen Titans team. The characters on the variant cover include Nightwing, Wally West, Donna Troy, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven. The chances that Donna Troy ends up being the Wonder Woman character on this Titan team are basically non-existent. That character will be Yara Floor. Of course, John Kent is going to be on the team. They're going to need a Flash character. It's not going to be Wally West. He's starring in his own book. Not sure what Barry Allen's going to be doing, but he's not going to be a Titan. Of course, it's going to be Bolt. Garth is not going to be on the team. We're not going to get the original Aqua Lad. It's going to have to be Jackson Hyde because really we are getting JLQ, but they're going to call them the new Titans now. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's what we've predicted for about the last 18 months. Elevate Nightwing up, so he's going to be on the team and he's going to lead it. So as long as Nightwing is leading the team, we're supposed to accept it, right? Do you really believe Starfire is going to be on a Titans book written by... Tom Taylor, when he's setting up the Dick Grayson, Barbara Gordon marriage in Nightwing right now, I don't believe it. There's no way any of this stuff is going to happen. And yes, you do get the cover and it gives you the good feels and it gives you that nostalgia that you want, but it's all bullshit because we know what the end game of DC Comics really is. It's all about identity politics right now. It's about immutable traits. It's about the sexual identity or the gender identity of the characters that make them unique and powerful within the DC universe. It's not about the history. It's not about the characters' power sets. It's not about who they're friends with and how they naturally interact with things. It's not about the weaknesses that the characters have and how that would play out in the story or anything like that. It's about getting the message across. I think I know that and I know that you guys know that and that's what this is all about. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Are you excited that the Justice League just aren't going to come back? Superman is told, Nightwing, hey, our time is done. It's time for the Titans, the new Titans. And we'll get a whole nother generation of heroes to step up to the plate and as they're trying to fight stuff that's going to end the universe, people are going to be sitting around going, I wonder why the Justice League aren't the ones taking care of it. They're certainly more capable. They've got the history. They've got the power sets. And it feels like this would probably be a job for the real Superman and not the fake Superman that's being pushed because of his sexual identity within the comic books and all the retcons that are going on right now. More disappointing stuff. I do think the Dawn of DCU is absolutely screwed. I'm going to talk about that more in depth within the next couple of days. We're not going to cover this information right here because I've already recorded it. I've already recorded like seven or eight days worth of content so I could actually go on vacation. I'm glad this came out. I'm glad I got to talk about it with you guys and I definitely want to hear from you. Are you ready for the Titans to ascend and replace the Justice League? Does it make sense right now? I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed that we're not going to get another Justice League title launched during Dawn of DCU and Quite frankly, that will just add to the disappointment that's already there. I kind of talked about this. We've got some of the creative teams. We know we got three events in the future. In the very near future, I might add, I had a video talking about all the information at the time that we had with Dawn of DCU. Now we know Justice League aren't returning. If you can't see the video here, there's also a link in the video description.